time. Uh, I'm Cheryl Wozni with the Verbal Abuse and Relationships blog and I wanted to talk to you today about victim shaming and verbal abuse. I am going to get into a little bit more detail in my next blog post but today I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight into my own um, experience with victim shaming. Unfortunately, when I started talking about instances in my life, I came up to roadblocks with people I love that have said, well, that couldn't have happened, or you were blowing it out of proportion, um, that you're wrong. Um, unfortunately, that happens to a lot of people who start to talk about what have happened to them and sharing their stories. A friend of mine online posted the other day just a little blurb on social media that says you're a victim until you share your story and then you're a hero because you can help others and that that really resonated with me so I I really do believe that even if people don't believe you um, you don't have to make them believe you if they don't believe you that's their problem um, what you need to do is if some people don't want to share their story and that's fine. Um, but if you want to share your story and you want to talk about it, then find somebody that will listen and will support you. You don't need to try and make someone believe you and support you if they don't want to. There's a lot of resources out there. And I was lucky enough that I had uh, a couple really good therapists and I do have a very close knit circle of friends and my immediate family and everyone that I have now is very supportive of me and I don't have to worry about those people that don't believe me or still talk behind my back because they have no impact on my life right now. And I do hope that if you have victim shaming in your life that you can move past that and learn how to heal and have a better life. And I will expand more on this later in my next blog. Thanks.